Now that we know how to create our affiliate links, let's look at where to put them. Where do we insert affiliate links on a WordPress blog or website to make it work and to get the most clicks and attention? Well, I have an answer for you guys and it might not be the one you're expecting, but there's no secret place to put them is my answer. There are mainly two places to put them and they're actually very simple. The first is in your footer. You should have an affiliate link to your theme in the footer because when someone's on your site and they like your design and what you're doing and they want to see what theme you're using, everyone goes and clicks in the footer. In our case now we can click theme options on the uh, virtue free theme and then go to miscellaneous settings and it's really easy to insert an affiliate link down here. Just write over theme credit with some simple HTML. And what I would do is write in a link like this one slash virtue app link, you know, or something like that, whatever you choose to call it when you're setting up the redirect. And then it just looked like that. Um, and of course, you're only going to affiliate market premium themes because uh, free themes are free and they won't pay you a commission for referring people to a free theme. Virtue, in fact, does have a great theme program, a uh, great theme affiliate marketing program. If you look up Cadence Affiliate, you'll get the Cadence Themes Affiliate Program where I'm a member. And it's all really good and simple and they pay you every month via PayPal. Really awesome stuff that I use uh, for recommending Virtue Premium theme. Check it out. All right, that would just be how to put the link in the footer. And then when we go to the site, we can see that that link would be there. It just wouldn't go to you know the right place because we didn't actually create a destination for that link if that makes sense. All right, and where would be the other good place to put our affiliate links? Because I mentioned two. Well, the other place is just simply in a blog post or in a WordPress page. Now, this site doesn't have a blog theme up, but we can go back to our new post editor and let's make sure we have a sidebar. We do have a sidebar. Anyways, okay, not going to work here on GregoryNarine.com because this is an e-commerce website and we want a standard blog that's affiliate marketing as our example. So let's go to Dear Blogger and let's see where the affiliate links are. Let's look up a post like how to make a WordPress website, Dear Blogger. We'll go with the 10 minute post and let's see how the affiliate marketing is working on this particular post. We have our intro, some styling and some content, like a video to show people that we actually know what we're doing. And let's try to find that affiliate link in the rough. Lots of introduction. We can see that I like introducing and making people feel comfortable and really establishing ourselves as the expert before we jump into affiliate marketing and sending them to our third party site with this link right here. Now I want you to look at a few things. Um, of course I've set up this little yellow attention area to attract people's eyes right here because they can click and they can learn about the features of HostGator and I find that this gets more clicks than just a link sitting in some text so there's that, and I want you to also see in the bottom left, when I hover over this link, down here where this Lake Louise JPEG is, right above it, you're going to see the link path, which is just dearblogger.org slash hostgator. Really simple and clean, easy to set up a redirect, and easy to remember that link uh, for myself, for the subscribers, and also really easy to hide 
because I just have to hide that word HostGator when I set up that affiliate link in uh, my cPanel. Now in our sidebar to the right, it's important to notice that I don't include any affiliate links. What we have is links to the content on the site though. For example, this link, how to make a WordPress website in 10 minutes, would take us right to this post. Now, how did I create these individual sections in our sidebar? How do we make a content is king section that looks decent? And how do we make these areas over here? Actually, all right, I was kidding. We do have one or two links in the sidebar that go to affiliate marketing sites. So sorry about being incorrect on that. And let's look at how to make these two because that's an affiliate link. To HostGator and this is an affiliate link to Aweber. And I made those custom on the site because I thought they would get more clicks um, in this area, you know, looking like little homemade advertisements. Well, believe it or not, the place to create uh, blurbs like this and blurbs like this, we'll just call them blurbs for the time being. You can call them HTML chunks or, you know, word munches, whatever you want. The best place to create those is in New Post Editor, right here. And we're actually in the Dear Blogger New Post Editor, right here. To create a blurb like this with the links or your own customized blurb, like my four favorite tools, just come to your New Post Editor and click Add Media. And then you should find the right piece of media that you want you can see there's lots and lots here because I've done a lot of different tests with affiliate marketing. Well, let's say we just get this WordPress wood icon right here. And we insert into post. All right, and there it is. Remember, this is going in our sidebar, so we need to style it to look good in a smaller space. So we can adjust our width down to maybe 100 by 100. And we can play around with some text. I recommend WordPress for all blogs and websites because it's incredibly easy to use. All right, and we're just gonna say one or two sentences about the product. In this case, WordPress is our example product. Just one or two sentences in the sidebar. Let's not get too complicated. And then I'm just going to write learn more for our example. So that's our second sentence, learn more. We can now go to visual and we can see what this will look like. We have the image positioned to the left and the text surrounding it. But if you wanted your image apart from the text, you could also just align, no alignment, and the text will go below it. See how that works? So whatever looks better in your sidebar. Pretty simple. Now let's copy our link and let's paste that on learn more right here. Learn more is our anchor text. Very nice. And if you want, you can also set the image to be a link to. Just click on the image to highlight it and then click insert edit link and paste in that piece of content that goes to our site. And this could also go to another site. So now how do we insert this blurb onto our sidebar? And how do we put this affiliate marketing promotion onto our site live so people can see it? The easiest way is just to go to the text tab and highlight everything. Copy. All right, and you can keep this window open as you're editing Canvas. And I like just going to Appearance Widgets in a new tab. And we're going to add a text widget to our sidebar. So just click Text. Maybe you use a visual editor. That's great too. And add widget in the sidebar. Then simply paste it in. Give yourself a title if that's your uh, style. If the rest of your widgets have title, then stick with the title then simply watch it happen.
we might need to save it too. Where's that save button? Let's save this widget. We can see that I'm also using two plugins on my widget, which is a little more complicated, but you might want to do it. Uh, fix widget lets this widget stay in one position in the sidebar as someone scrolls down. And dynamic widget lets you show this widget only on certain posts or pages and decide uh, exactly where it shows up if you don't want to affiliate market on certain posts or pages, for example. All right, close it, and now let's see what we made. Let's refresh the page. And let's actually go to our home page. And then all the way at the bottom, we have this new blurb. And it looks pretty good. The image aligned to the left looks good, and the text fits it well. No typos. And this is the kind of thing that will look great in your sidebar. You can use this blurb to recommend books. You can use it to recommend products you use. Any sort of product on Amazon or on the affiliate networks that you're a member of. It looks simple, clean, non-intrusive, and inviting enough that someone would click learn more. And then they would get to the page where you really do your affiliate marketing and they'd be a little bit more ready to learn about your product, learn about your expertise, and then hopefully make that decision to visit the affiliate site and make the purchase with the information and confidence you've given them. All right, so that's it, guys. That's just how I go about affiliate marketing on my WordPress sites and blogs. And as you've seen, I've experienced um, a little bit of success. And it's my goal to pass that success on to you and uh, watch you guys surpass me, too, because that is what I consider to be fun, <laughs> helping and watching you guys have successes. All right, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll leave you with that affiliate check right here from Aweber. Really awesome that this stuff actually works. I'll see you guys soon, and I'll see you in the comments. Let me know any questions or any issues you're having. Um, talk to you later. Bye.